uh, what an all star crew <laughs> writing this shitty episode is co written <laughs> for the first time ever collaboration between Marty Noxon and David Greenwald, two real Buffy stalwarts. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Greenwald uh, stuck around to direct as well. Okay, well. But- it's speaking of credits, Logan. Do you watch the end credits or you just skip? Uh, yeah, I watched. I, feel I saw like, it. The dancing. Okay, well, the dancing. But also, I was just curious because I, I watched the dancing and I was like, oh, I hope Logan didn't skip the dancing. But also, there's something at the end of there's like a future joke that like if you don't watch the end credits, you don't get. Um. So what are you talking about? Uh, I anything, but I watched it. There's a future joke that's going to be in a Buffy episode. And I don't think it's a spoiler, but uh, uh, a character references the the production company. Mutant Enemy? Yeah. Gur-Arg? Yeah. I mean, the Gur-Arg thing changes a couple of times. Is that what you're referring to? I'm just saying in an episode of Buffy, they reference Gur-Arg. Oh, I do remember this the little yeah. finger thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, okay. I was just All gonna right. say, if Logan doesn't watch it, he's not gonna right. get it. You won't get that reference. They reference Good a point. production company or something. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if he remembers and gets points uh, in the trivia. Arc, I'll remember that. Um. All right, she. She. Yeah, go for it. All right, uh, Wesley likes Rubens. They try to pick up some women. Wesley does a cute bit about his sweater. Angel dances funny. Uh, Phantom Dennis. Nice to see Phantom Dennis. Wh- Why did you cool. rush? That's the best part. Yeah, it's I like thought... the only good yeah. part of the episode. <laughs> and you literally... rushed through it in two seconds. All right, what, what, also, what, what, what do we like? Is it weird that like after the last episode, like... Cordelia is like, oh, I, I think I'm not. I've learned from my mistakes. I'm not going to do this. And then she immediately throws a party at her house. Like, isn't that yeah, weird? Good point. Trying to let off a little steam, you know. She only invited her real friends, not her Hollywood bitch friend. Do you there think like twenty like, people here? Do you think yeah. Serena was there from last week? <laughs> yeah, what? probably. Are, not, are, not the other you... one though. She's not friends. Are with Emily. You... No. <laughs> are you t- are you telling me that like the brother of the fake famous person? Uh, they brought up uh is one of cordelia's real friends excuse me excuse me fake famous person who was it like i didn't i didn't who is it david pamer i, I guess I did. i've never who is that i don't know that what though. are you talking about i'm a dumb person too i've never <laughs> not but david pamer first of all not only is david pamer a real well-known actor but the brother no that she references is also a, a real person. Oh wow, David Nick Pamer. Pamer. What, was, what was it? Sam look Pamer. Up, oh, up. I know this guy. Oh my gosh! Of course I didn't you know David he... Pamer. He looks oh. like a turtle. He's in everything. I mean, yes. get Shorty, the American president, marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Yeah, All he's right? Dave's. He's Dave's dad and Dave Logan. Wow. He was one of the the judges on The Good Wife. He played All a right. doctor on Horse Girl. <laughs> oh, he's he's in um, Ocean's Thirteen. He's like one of the guys oh, that are like yeah, supposed he's, to be impressing in Ocean's Thirteen. Yeah, so he's the he's the hotel reviewer, and they yeah. give him like the shittiest experience ever. So he gives he gives Al Pacino's hotel like no stars or whatever yeah um, that's a good sequel uh that's funny yeah that and then at part. the then at the end because they're nice crooks they rig a, a slot machine so he wins so his yeah so we don't feel bad they treated him gave him bed bugs and stuff uh so yeah he's also the dad driving the car in carpool remember carpool hmm carpool no karaoke you don't remember carpool dude no, it's carpoolers. Dude. Carpoolers, I remember. No, well, carpoolers, what a classic. <laughs> but uh, let's do, we should do a We Love Kids movies on carpool. Oh, it's a kids That's film? a great I've never seen that one. From the 90s, live action kids movie. And he and Tom Arnold play the dads. Oh, I haven't seen this. 
Dude, wow. it is must, so good. You would love Carpool. Oh, I'm going to have to check this out. By the way. That's my the, recommendation for you this week. Okay, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I'm Dan, I, I do have a potential We Love Kids movies we have to cover in November. Um, the Sandman is doing an animated film called Leon. I'm, or I'm well aware of that. and I, I want to cover that. And we also really need to do the Spy Kids bonus episode. Yes, we should do Spy Kids bonus episode with... Zachary Levi as the dad. Did you guys watch the um oh man, what were you guys just talking about? Oh, the new it's like a movie with Adam Sandler's daughter. Yes, I watched oh, that. Oh yeah. I no, I read about I that and I, I vowed I vowed never to watch that. D- Dan, Dan, please watch it for no! I think we're gonna cover Hubie Halloween next week. I think it would be fun to discuss because that it, movie it's too Nepo. It is the Nepo movie, and I would <laughs> love your opinion on it. I think we could have fun talking about it because it is I watched it. I think <laughs> then my I'm like, oh I watched it with my family. I've seen it twice. It's hilariously bad. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I don't want to watch it. It's good, bad. It, you got to see it. Like, it's like. I only have so much time in my life. It's like the Judd Apatow effect, on, but with Adam Sandler. It's so funny. What What do you mean the Judd Apatow effect? He puts his fucking daughters in everything, and they're horrible. Why are they horrible? Yes, they are. Oh my His God. daughters are good. You guys, crazy. You, no way. Uh, Go back on, and watch This Is 40. Watch the bubble. Yeah, there's... watch the bubble. No, yeah. no, no, no. I, Iris Apatow and the bubble is obnoxious. But like going back, to, like Maude's really good. It's fine as kids. Uh, Yeah, they're little kids. But I'm telling no, you. Like... But now she's on Euphoria and she's good. Yeah. All right. I'll have to check that out. But whatever. <laughs> Uh, yeah, love, well, you don't know. Kids. You need to check out the Sandlers and see. I don't want to. I know his kids are bad. You're, in- you're so. Aren't they in Hubie? Yeah. Yeah, they're in every. And they're one terrible of in that. Yeah, hey, you know always... who else is in Hubie, by the way? That fucking Jew kid who's uh, uh, criticized oh, yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned that earlier. That, I, yeah. That's literally why that we connection. referenced him. Yeah, I said. Hey, uh, Hubie connection, the kid from Stranger <laughs> Things. Uh, so he's the, the LVP parts of Hubie are all those teenagers. Yeah, you're right. All right. Well, Get we're excited. We're going to cover that next week, guys. Hubie's back. So yeah, guess who's back? Hubie back or again. not Hubie? Hubie's I'll back. tell you the answer. Tell Hubie. Him, Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Uh, so Wesley likes Rubens. You guys like Rubens? Ruben stutters. <laughs> No, you know, neither of you like. No, Rubens. I like Rubens. Yeah. Why didn't you say yes then? Neither of you said. No, anything. I like it. I, I'm he was not... laughing too hard at Rubens' stutter. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not a big sauerkraut man, but uh, I'll I like have minimal on there. I'll brush a little bit off, leave some on there. Is it necessary to get the kraut on the Ruben? Yeah, you want the kraut, but not they all. They always overdo it with the kraut. But uh, and then you want some nice New York mustard. Yeah. All right, interesting. There you go, guys. There's a good Reuben order. Uh, so Wesley, he, basically, what happens with Wesley here, I think, is like he's like, "Hey, I'm like a, a pretty handsome, charming guy. Why do I never try to pick up women?" And he realizes, like, at this party, that he could try to pick up women, and so he's like, "Angel, well, let's try to pick up women." It was like it was like really funny. <laughs> so that's what they try to do. And but but Wesley's like a girl's like Wesley. I like that sweater. Oh, she doesn't know him. She doesn't call him Wesley. I don't think. Um, but he's like, uh, thanks. I didn't make it or anything, but that's very nice. <laughs> like it he does not so awkward. Yeah. So I really loved it. Uh, and then Angel. It's a terrible see, sweater, by the way. Really? Yeah. yeah. What I feel and with the amount of dancing he's doing, he's got to be hot as balls. Like, yeah, come on. It's an enormous cable knit sweater. He's wearing in the middle in the middle of a crowded house party in Los Angeles. Sweater bad. It was just a t- t- bad choice, maybe. Sweater on its own. It's also is ugly. Good. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, it's that. it's pretty ugly. Bad color too. What yeah. Black? What color was it? Just a gray cable knit sweater. It's bad. Jesus. All right. Well, th- this woman liked it, but he drove her away. Uh, so Angel is like upset, and he goes and sits down. And Phantom Dennis pulls out a chair for him, and I him love beer. that moment. I love Phantom Dennis. Me too. Very nice. Looking out uh, for everybody. Cordelia and uh, Angel. 
very nice. I watched that Phantom Dennis moment, and I was like thinking about like the special effect they made to, to make the t- the yeah. chair move, and I realized, oh, it's just somebody under the table pushing the chair. It's like <laughs> oh, yeah. least, it's like the least special effect possible, but they just add. I did the spooky like phantom dennis sound effect and yeah. i was like oh that's effective right yeah that's funny uh so and then cut to there's like a box and a guy comes in and he opens the box and you're like oh no this is what this episode is it's like nothing to do with our people like that was all good setup and then cut to a guy like opening a box unleashing something I, and i hated that scene it's like a guy it literally just cuts to like a guy and a box that he's not supposed to open and he's just looking at the box what do you think is gonna fucking happen he's gonna open the box it's not gonna be good yeah, d- yeah. shouldn't d- he should know he's in an angel episode and before <laughs> the credits he's gonna get fucked he should have not opened that box he should have realized uh oh the credits haven't even run yet I- i'm good if i do this i'm gonna die <laughs> that's a great point why don't they all it's like the people way? in the in the pre uh opening song of bones like you yeah. fucking idiots! You guys should stop doing anything. You're about to discover a dead body. Stop doing whatever you're doing, and then but that's okay, right? The they just they just stumble on a dead body. Here's, it's not like they die. Like I would thing, love to be at the beginning of a Bones episode. Here's here's the thing that I pointed it. out to my wife uh, about every person in the beginning of a Bones episode. Every one of those people, they find the dead body, but they all react exactly the same. And they're they are screaming horrified to find a dead body. And it's hilarious. No one's ever like, oh, gross, a body. It's always just like the most amount of screaming ever. Next time you watch Bones, Dan. No, I know. And and then like and then it's like the scream echoes and they cut to them like showing up to the crime scene. Yeah. (laughs) Having some very fun banter. Or or they play the Dust Brothers song, right? Like uh Oh right yeah, I used screen. to. How does the Bones song go? I used to know do, it by do. heart. Boop boop boop. Uh, well, I sing. Oh, I it's sing like the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I always sing. I always sing the word Bones. It's like Bones, 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 Bones. It's like boom, bam, 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 right like that. Yeah, yeah. After the opening part, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like a and you're seeing Angela's face and and Hodges. Um, yeah, the Cam, the drums. Cam, yeah. all the, all Cam, the well, Cam, if you're in season two, come on, give me a oh, break. True, Deep true. Train. Um, yeah, it's it's that uh older yeah. guy. Yeah, I don't know that guy's name either. I don't know the character's name. I know the actor's name is Jonathan I know who Adams. It, yeah, I know who it is, but I don't. Yeah, yeah. I can't Adams think of his character. Second president. Yeah, and Paul then G. if Martin. you're if if you're late enough in the series post season four, and maybe you get sweets in those opening credits. <laughs> oh, yeah, but not not season six or so. Yeah, no, no, no. It's it's later than that. He's in it from season four. So, yeah, you're right. Through episode two of season ten. Oh, ten. Jesus. Do I get points for my bones but, trivia? By the way, for that? by the way, guy, <laughs> I want to pitch you. You're always the Logan pitched square pod. Sponge cast or whatever. Come on. Um, I think you after you finish Buffy and Angel, instead of like go continuing. No, I I think instead of continuing, um, the Whedon verse, I think you follow the Boreans verse and cover Bones next. Do we cover Geller too? After this, we'll do we'll do Ringer and uh, (laughs) and Bones. Yeah, that would be good. One week Ringer, one week Bones. Yeah. And then after that, we'll do um, Seal Team and just who from show. Bones. The, uh, yeah, we'll do Seal Team and the crazy ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> be <done. laughs> All right, so we move on. Uh, we we get set up here the coffee beans <laughs> that are spilled later in the episode. Uh, mm-hmm. Good job there. Why don't you crush? I like Cordelia. Why don't you crush him? Use your vampire strength. Yeah. Well, yeah, why don't you do that? It seemed obvious to her. Uh, so Wesley shows up. And Wesley, I guess, hasn't officially been hired onto the team. But a- here Angel says, hey, you don't have any money and you don't can't even eat. So why don't you? Be- I'll hire you. And Wesley's like, oh, yay. And it's like a funny thing where Wesley's like, yes, yes, master. <laughs> this whole episode. <laughs> I, I thought about the dynamic once he like. You know, he becomes the bootlicker once Angel hires him that like 
you two guys, I believe, at your works are are Cordelia and Wesley. And I think you know who at who. our jobs. Yeah. What do you mean? I think Dan's a real Cordelia type at his job. How so? Kind of like not too into it. Constant headaches, uh, falling <laughs> over. <laughs> and you think I'm like, yes, master. I'll, I'll yeah, make sure I, think to, I, I know think, where yeah, Theater 7 is. Yes, master. Yeah, yeah. I think you're like, can I please clean the popcorn machine? We're out of Sour <laughs> Patch Kids. Yes, master. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Are you referencing the character from Igor? That you know that think, Igor character. What's yeah, story? Kind of I think he's referencing Dobby from Harry Potter. No, I was honest. kind of doing Igor, but not on purpose. It just kind of led that way naturally. I don't think he would reference Igor since he he's not good at uh, recognizing Frankenstein characters. No, that's no, that's what, that's what that's. I was blown away that he was making an Igor reference. The same episode, he professed to know absolutely nothing about Frankenstein. <laughs> I- Igor is in Van Helsing, and he's played by Benny, the guy from the, the Mummy movies. <laughs> that's that's why I know him. Uh, all right, so we go to we yeah. I'm laughing. Oh, sorry. Uh, so so Cordelia has a vision, right? <laughs> it's about this that guy. Uh, it was so gross. Go, it was gross. Blow uh, blow up eyes. I like that part where Cordelia is like, hold me. And they're like, no, we don't, we're, it's too gay to hug. Um, and then she's like, no, <laughs> hold me. Hold me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they, we established last episode that they were gay. <laughs> yeah, because they t- he t- put his hand on his shoulder, right? <laughs> Do you right. think every time a woman thinks you're gay, you have to go be gay? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> you're gay now. <laughs> if, if you're talking gay. Uh... So uh, that we go to Jericho Ice Factory. Break the wall down. <laughs> uh, that was pretty cool. And uh, we meet this guy Tay. Tay is pretty cool. Whatever. Yeah. No Maddie. No Maddie. Was that a joke for? Oh, uh, do you guys not know the classic country music female Tay duo and Maddie? Maddie and Tay? Oh my god. Yeah. And... No, I don't think what so. What the hell? He called us <laughs> racist. He's referencing country music here. <laughs> <laughs> I only know Tay Tay Taylor Swift. Oh, sure, of course, Tay Tay. Uh, but yeah, so Tay is there, and he says he's there to stop the bringer of chaos. He says, "Was that um Sh- Jira? Was she the bringer of chaos?" Oh, uh, I guess. Okay, didn't seem like she was bringing that much chaos. Well, no, she- it, it, but it's it, we learn that they're from like a patriarchal society, right? So like she's bringing in chaos in as much as like she's trying to get rights for women in their world. Yeah, yeah she doesn't want them to get female circumcised off their backs. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so oh, here by the way, we uh, Angel draws a picture of Tay. And it made me remember the Jeremy Renner episode. I thought that probably a cop drew that sketch, but it seems like Angel probably drew it. No, Angel's incredible at sketches. Did you see the yeah, way he like, handed off that sketch in that? Yeah, scene? he like he like it was like it off. I yeah, it was like I just slammed my this out in like eight minutes. Here I think it this is. might just be my masterpiece. And he he's also we're also like get like at the party too, and that um. You know, like after he sees her, we're getting the sense that like, hey, Angel's horny. Like he's obviously yeah. like very horny. He he describes her as like attractive. oh, and very. Does attractive. he fuck her? By the way, no, no. I I wonder in this episode always whether Angel and Byling fuck off screen at some point. I don't think so, think so because I think they're she leaves like, they're, being horny. I, I yeah, don't think Yeah, she's it ever like happens. yeah, she's super horny and he looks super horny. I, I think what happens off screen is there's one part where Angel jacks off. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's the part I'm thinking of. <laughs> it's 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 uh, you know, like it's when they show up and they're like, Where are you, Angel? And he's like, I had to take a shower. It's like yes! oh, that's what I'm referring to. That's what I'm yeah. referring to. I thought that was referring to that they had fucked, but maybe you're no, right. Maybe I, he had I, just like a fucking monster JO session bed. <laughs> yeah. He was like sweaty I, from it. Yeah, I well, yeah. I think I think they're implying he took a cold shower because he was so horny. Because oh. can Angel jack off if he comes? Is that a moment of true wow. happiness? No, no, no. Listen, it's not that every time he comes, that's a moment. How do we of know? Happiness. Have we ever it's seen that he had sex Angel, with Buffy? Have we ever seen yeah. Angel jack off? I mean, no. They kind of imply <laughs> like we've seen any characters jack off. 
there's an angel mean. specific that we don't see. It's not. It's not like you um, can say we haven't seen him jack off, so therefore he doesn't jack off. <laughs> I don't want to say too much because it's it's kind of dealt with on Angel, like what happens to Angel, Angel. jacking off. Can't wait. No, like Angel, <laughs> like you know, coming in a in a situation that is not a loving situation yeah i'm just i'm just saying like in buffy we only ever see him hook up with buffy right there's no other love interest for angel right um we don't know if he's fucking drew on the side during season two uh, yeah i no mean way. Our, come on she's way into him but he isn't he's not into her well he's into her in as much as it annoys spike no, I feel like all the time she's like, "Ooh, Angel," and he he's just. Are like, you crazy? So annoyed. No, you thought, thought he was into her too. That's not the, yes. Interesting, huh? Do I like Angel less because he wasn't faithful to Buffy? When he was Angelus, though, he tried to kill you're, her. You're saying the worst thing he did as Angelus, <laughs> other than murdering Miss Calendar, was not being faithful to Buffy. Other than murdering her, maybe. I guess maybe he that. should have bought a. You know, that's the problem is uh, he was Angelus two years before The Sims came out. If he <laughs> bought a copy of The Sims, started cheating, you know, vicariously, then, then yeah. he would have done and, it in real life. And if Angelus had The Sims, he could have made a fake Miss Calendar, had her in the swimming pool and removed the ladder to get out. And then <laughs> he could have killed her in The Sims instead of actually killing her in real life. That is, so funny. is that the only way to kill people in the Sims? You can also build a room around them with no doors, and they just die of starvation eventually. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. The Sims is hardcore, man. Seriously, yeah, but but it makes the rest of the family really bummed out if someone dies in the yeah. house. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> all right, but so it's not it's... like there's a smell. She died in a room with no doors. No. Well. Well, by the way, if there's no, no doors, is that, is that like a if a like a tree falls in the woods, but nobody's around, is that like <laughs> one of those things. By the way, if they're in the room, uh, you you're glad there's no smells because they do soil themselves multiple times before they die. So, oh. Sims rules. Do they turn the pool all green, yellow or yellow? Oh no, they die of exhaustion before they poop and pee themselves in the pool they just die. they like drown because they uh can't get out because it's too deep right damn um all right so we, he does the drawing and then he goes to the place and he, he like the, do the door is shut there's probably somebody in there dying from the sims and he grapples <laughs> up to the top very cool he like runs oh up god is that cool i don't like that moment it seemed like they thought it was really cool it it does seem like they think it's really cool. <laughs> so I, I, it cool. I I think David Greenwald still has in his head like let's make Angel Batman. He's just that's what he is. He's Batman, and yeah. I I just I'm not as into those touches. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't actually think it was so cool, but I mean they thought it was cool. Uh, so then we meet uh the the woman Jira and I, see I didn't think anything of that shower scene later because here there's like a big car chase. And it's like played for comedy or something, how Angel's like having connection issues and he's like, oh, stupid fucking phone. And then later I thought the shower thing was just like another comedy bit, I guess. I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. But Couldn't believe how much he was looking at that phone while he was trying to drive. He's a, he's a menace on the road, Angel. Yeah. This this is a very anti cell phone moment yeah. of, of society too, where he's like, I hate no this cell phone. phone, and and then it's like it's not. I mean, it's a cell phone. Right? It really like, felt like a stand up bit, like Greenwald yeah. and Marty Knox, and like these are all the things What's we the fucking deal? hate What's about cell phone. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and then yeah, and you then never, like, you never. It's a bad service area. What? <laughs> See, yeah. sometimes you need to make a call, but you can't. Isn't that oh, the worst? he's. He's probably driving through a canyon. It's like, oh, come on. Like, yeah. yeah. And there's, they're saying, can you hear me now? Right? No like, way. Yeah. They, do, they, yeah, do, they, they do. They do say, can you hear me now? I wonder if that's commercial it was from this. No. And they're like, oh, that'd be good for a little commercial. No, because yeah. then eventually the fucking phone would have worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so. They, they never got it. They made so many commercials. And then that guy left to join Sprint or whatever. Remember? Remember yeah. Yes. Oh my God. Traitor. What a traitor. <laughs> He's a bigger trader than Sir. I hope I hope right? I hope CT backpacks him. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking should. I'll backpack that guy. Fuck him. 
fucking traitor. All right, here's a, here. Oh, Cordelia makes a reference to the movie Carrie. She says, uh, "Did did she care? Were you carried?" Right? No, she says, "Does she carry you?" And then he, Angel hears, "What? Does she care for me?" Uh, oh, right. He's like, "I gotta jack off because I'm so horny." <laughs> yeah, that was so stupid. So, but I like this part. Angel, he like, she's like, "Hey, somebody's following me," and she runs into an art gallery, and Angel goes and follows her, and Angel, uh, like, yeah. So this painting was made this, and this is what the artist is trying to say. And he's like, he like implies that the that that painting Le Vampire is about him. Right. The poem. No, he reads the he, poem. He, right. He oh, that's right. Poem. He reads like a verse from that poem. And then and then he references like, oh, and he's taller and he's way more drunk than what the picture implies. And all of the people who are just standing there who got the impromptu art lesson, like they laugh. burst like they're in, like, they yeah. burst into applause. They're yeah. like, Oh my god, this guy's amazing. And like, yeah, Angel just is talking about this experience hanging out with if somebody did this at an art museum that I was at, I would have walked away instantly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and crazy. it would, and if it was Logan, it wouldn't happen because Logan's never been to an art museum. Logan, have you ever stepped foot in an art museum? No, but I would. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed that. Oh so, my god! Uh, there's a portal, and a woman falls out. And then guys come in and they're like, we're going to take her off and do some crazy stuff to her. Right. And then Jira goes to Angel and she's like, hey, I've got this little spike. It's called a co. And uh, <laughs> and uh, it like it's everything that's like sexual and physical about us comes from this. And but they try to take it from us. And it's like, all right, that's cool. And oh, and it lights up whenever you get horny. There you go. And they're uh, too hot. They of... have to be iced all the time because they're too oh, yeah. hot. The women are too hot. They're so hot they burn people from the inside. Yeah, that is hot. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think of Bai Ling, Logan? Because <laughs> like she general? was like, yeah, she was like perceived as a get for Angel at the time. Like I remember the whole like promotion for this episode was like guest starring biling angel yeah um i mean i'm i am having to look her up she was in crank i guess yeah yeah she's at the end of crank 2 high voltage she's like set on fire like coming towards the camera yeah i mean i don't really know her that well to be honest so didn't i but i think that was kind of my problem with this episode was like they treated that character so importantly yeah it was like Oh man, is it like is she really gonna be like a big big part of the show? So I guess I didn't really like her that much, but I didn't dislike her. I don't know mixed feelings. Yeah, well, um, I was um, a big fan of her at the time because she was like queen of the nip slip. No, mm-hmm. it was like every time you check the gossip the gossip rags on the internet, you'd see uh, Bai Ling's nips hanging out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Logan, what if I? <laughs> that sounds perverted, but it's true. Like if look, you look up Biling Nipslip, you will I'm find upwards of four thousand yeah. pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Logan, what if I told you uh, this character returns and well, is in over half of all Angel episodes hey, and is like kidding. the main focus of season four and why Dan likes it so much? Yeah. Uh, what's crazy about or? this character is that eventually she moves over to Buffy and becomes a regular on Buffy. Oh, that's a joke. Okay. Yeah, um, she she actually replaces Xander and Willow as Buffy's best friend. Okay. All right. Very funny. Uh, so so we uh, so Sean Gunn is back. He's not a demon. He's a regular guy. Yeah. Hey, he's, Logan's he's... favorite actor of all time, Sean Gunn. Well, he's yeah. Well, why do you say that? Well, because he's rocket raccoon right i I mean i guess so the body of and rocket raccoon's your favorite character of all time made you cry uh your favorite movie of this year okay is that why i love bradley cooper so much i never even put it together obviously yeah i I know he played rocket raccoon but i never that's why why i love him so much and that's why you love sean gunn too because the rocket raccoon damn maybe you're onto something wait dan dan say his name please rocket raccoon (laughs) (laughs) yeah i was talking about sean gunn uh, but yeah, Sean Gunn's back. Well, well, what's going on? Were they just like, this guy was so good. We got to get him back. I guess so. He was sort of like around at the time because Did he, he was a reg- Probably not. 
No, I mean, he was a regular on um, Gilmore Girls at this time. Yeah. So uh, they probably knew him from around like the WB uh, lot. I, I, I have to say right now is uh, the, one of the shows my wife has been falling asleep to is a rewatch of the, of the Gilmore Girls, a show that I don't really like, but is been growing on me. I think it's secretly like really funny. Um, I, I I think Gilmore Girls might be a, a top ten best TV show of all time. That's They're just crazy. like very. I might th- I think my problem is I hate Rory so much. Like, and I hate anything about Rory. Uh, ex- but every character in the Gilmore Girls is what funny do you hate Rory. about Rory? I find her to be the most grating element of the entire show. I can't stand. I, I find her and Laura Lorelai <laughs> to be too quippy and like wanting to be cool um but every other character side character especially kurt who's sean gunn uh trying to be really fun they're in this like tiny oh my god what are you talking about little hamlet oh we're we're all quinn tarantino's referencing everything all the time where we have to be quick i guess it's not tarantino but it's uh they would reference tarantino like every single thing they say is like the most complex reference to a movie or something all that's the time. just the writer you're not hating like well, everybody on that show Williamson talks like that show. no not everybody. Uh, amy sherman palladino wrote that show i didn't actually think and wrote that's that that's how amy sherman palladino writes if you watch sure uh, Bunheads or the marvelous Mrs. Maisel or anything else she's ever done, all of her characters sound like that. Which I don't think like Luke sounds like that. I don't think Kurt sounds like that. I don't think like the 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 well Kirk mayor guy. does. Kirk does sound like that. Kirk makes very specific pop culture references. At one point, he makes like a Brian Jonestown Massacre, Dandy Warhol's reference. Says out of nowhere. Um. Kurt, uh, Luke, on the other hand, they specifically gave the character trait that he doesn't know much about pop culture. So he's you know not he, referencing that yeah. much. But like, you know to, it, I mean, know. Gilmore Girls to the point is like when Marvelous Mrs. Maisel came out, I was like, how is this show going to be a thing? Like it takes place in the 60s. She's not going to be able to reference pop culture. I, yeah, I like Maisel. Um, yeah. And then she pulled it off, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was good. I mean, uh, what I'm saying is I'm coming around to the Gilmore Girls and I wanted to say the episode I just watched uh, last night or two nights ago was Kurt was involved in making. It's Kirk. A... Stop saying Kurt. It's driving me nuts. Sorry, Kirk was. Uh, see, I don't know the show enough. I'm passively watching it. Uh, and that's time. another reason you're not watching it. It is one of the most beautifully built shows. The character development from episode to episode, from season to season is fucking incredible I, at the end of Gil- there's no other show at the end of that i feel like i know these people better hmm. um the uh i i have met one of the actors uh dan have i ever told you that one of the well i guess he's not a main character because he's always like guest star but uh i'm talking about richard herman yeah edward herman edward his name is richard on the show yeah, Richard. Um, yeah, you told me that once before. He yeah. he is a main character. He just has this weird like deal. Billy always says yeah. special appearance. Yeah, yeah. He's like in like what like three quarters of the. He's he's always the one that's like on business. It's not. I there, think he's but... in like all but a couple. Yeah. Um. Anyway, what episode did you watch? Uh, Kirk is working on making a giant pizza because they're trying to make a giant <laughs> pizza. <laughs> It's for, uh, isn't it for one of their birthdays? It's like, yeah, it's Rory's birthday, I think. Yeah. So. yeah, that's a really early episode. You should just hop in, watch uh, it for real. I, I also said this to my wife, and I wanted to ask you, because I know you're an expert. The theme song of Gilmore Girls, is yeah. is is it supposed to be them singing to each other? Oh, no, Lorelei you and... absolute moron. <laughs> that is a song from the 70s. Um uh, by but Carol like King. in the show, in the in the show. Yeah, like it kind of represents their dynamic because it's. Uh... Well, maybe that's why they used the song. Yeah, but no, you think I they, was... that's what they're going for. Like those. But guys, I asked my like... I asked my wife that the other day, and she goes, "Hmm, that's interesting." I'm like, yeah, interesting. Here's, "Here's why you're thinking that. It's because uh, the version they use for the show 
was Carol King re-recording her own song. Oh, and, and I think she uh, did it with her daughter. Okay, yeah, because the second singer sounds like Rory's kind of lilt and how she talks. Um, well, it's not. So, I think it's Carol King's kid. Okay, well, good, yeah. good. Well, well hey. Uh, Carol <laughs> King later uh, appears on Gilmore Girls well, uh, as the runner, the owner of the uh, local music shop where Lane I, goes to play drums. I think it's a, a, a fair uh, question on my part because I do know Lorelai is a gifted singer. I, I of course, uh, know her from uh, Zep, uh, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, where she sings multiple songs. Great. I started a show this week, Star Trek. You know, my favorite character, Captain Kurt. <laughs> uh, so, Sean Gunn, he like works at a spa or something, he owns a spa, and there's a bunch of women there. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's coded to be gay, right? Yeah, I think so. I didn't, I didn't pick up on that. Why, why, why do you think that? He blinks too much and is wearing mascara, <laughs> and he's like oh. hanging out with all these like hot naked ladies. He never hits on any of them, like Wesley being a weirdo. Yeah, and, Wesley's and, hardcore. <laughs> yeah, and he, uh, he says, "Oh, fellas, we have healing hands." At one point, to, to when the the demon guys show up. I, I didn't really pick up on any of that, but uh, yeah, you're probably right. Uh, so this is where Angel took a shower, right here. Wesley and Cordelia get home, and Angel was in the shower. So uh, here we go. They go back home. to... They live there? Well, they get the Angel. I think Angel... Yeah. It's Angel's apartment? I think Angel's apartment is right underneath their, his office. Oh. Yeah, I sort of thought it was okay. on like, the same place. Yeah, it's in the same building. Okay. But I, Where's but I Wesley know. live? Yeah. Uh, we don't know that yet, but we'll see him at home eventually. Yeah, because he said earlier like he couldn't even afford his next meal or something, right? Yeah, he that, wanted leftover he puffs. Yeah, he, he was like, any puffs. leftovers? You oh, leftovers? that's right. He was looking for shrimp puffs. Yeah. yeah <laughs> that's, that's why he that's liked him question. so much, because he was starving. He just wanted food. Any food would have tasted good. I was like, there's no way like hors d'oeuvres at Cordelia's house were any good. Like, she just was microwaving whatever. It's the cheapest thing possible, right? Yeah, yeah you're probably right. It was like Shotina's pizza rolls or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, and he's just loving it because he's been cut off from the Watchers Council. Yeah, he just needs any food would have been great <laughs> for yeah. him. I don't yeah. think Rogue Demon Hunter pays all that well. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out, I guess, right? Now, now he's employed here. But we all right, so they go back to Sean Gunn's place, right, to go save those women. And Wesley's going uh, to, I, I like this moment where he tries to jump out of the car and falls over. Great fall by Wesley. I don't remember this. What? Was, hey, was was Doyle employed by Angel or did he just hang out? Uh, I think That's that they really were getting good money question. by that point. I think he was employed. Yeah, I mean, he was recording the, the commercials for them. He had yeah, a party. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. Am I done yeah. yet? <laughs> or is that it? Is that all for me? Whatever you said. Yeah. Uh um, all right, so we get yeah, uh, yeah. I like that party falls down, and then he stands up and he like he like slaps the the, <laughs> the door. Um, and so here we go. We go in. Wesley's like really flirty, touching him and like a little um, much. Yeah, a little, a little much. Um, and a great part here. The guys come in looking for those women, and they punch Sean Gunn so hard that his neck snaps. Did you guys notice that? No. They like punch oh, him in the man. face and his his head turns so much that it that it like it snaps and he dies. Yeah. Jesus. Pretty cool. His soul transfers to a body in Star Hollow or whatever it's called. Stars Hollow. Oh, I was close. so disgusted that he forgot that S. Yeah. Like that was the worst thing that ever happened to you. Star Hollow. Disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Minus How one point you. for Tim on his Gilmore girls. Yeah, that's trivia. right. Should we be Gilmore guys? That has to be a thing. That it's is already a thing. One hundred percent a thing. Uh, yeah. Demi at Dejuwebe and some yep. other. Yeah, okay. yeah. pretty People famous. About Gilmore podcast. boys. So I thing. tried to listen to it. People used to recommend that show to me all the time. I couldn't get into it. Hmm. Should we be Gilmore boys? I think I just didn't agree with their takes on the show. Demi, it was uh, frustrating. what it was like mine, like his name should be Kurt, not Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you have. You think that? That's my take. Yeah, <laughs> it should be Kirk. I hate Rory. Here's uh, Kirk. 
Everyone oh, hates be... Rory. You, it's it's the coldest take anyone could possibly have. Yeah, that's a lame take, too. Okay, yeah. sorry. I also hate Ali McBeal and Sarah Jessica Parker. So oh. there you go. Those are more about ugly Betty. To me. You like her? Ugly Betty? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I prefer Jane the Virgin to be honest, but uh, <laughs> I do too, actually. Yeah, I'm I'm serious about that. Those are all shows that my wife watches and I half watch. Uh, so. And I'll and I'll take the crazy ex girlfriend over both of them. <laughs> oh no, I like. See, I watch all of that. I like that show. It's good. Okay. Um... What What do you mean? I, I said I'd take it over all of them. No, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying of all those shows, that's the only one I watch that I like. So, um, okay. What What happened at the end here, where Jira is like. The guys are like, fine, if you're not going to come with us, we're going to kill Cordelia and Wesley. And she's like, all right, fucking have fun. I don't care about those guys. So she leaves. But then at the end of the episode, Angel's like, hey, let's agree not ever to do that again. Let's be a team and be nice to each other. That didn't really work for me. But... And and Byling's like, yeah, we'll learn how to work together over the next 90 episodes of oh. Angel because I'm a regular character. <laughs> I'll be in the opening credits next week. <laughs> Get used oh, to my glowing back horn. Yeah. Um, well, well, now you've, you've been like, you've been saying that so much that I've, and I've been so negative about it that now it seems like I'm racist kind of. Well, I mean, that. No, 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 this is a bad episode. We never see her again. Uh, you can ignore it for the rest of your life. Great. I assumed so. Yeah. The, oh, oh, and he he opens the coffee, but they all spill everywhere. He tries to crush them, but they all and then and then yeah. and then Wesley comes in. He's like, "Yes, master, I'll, I'll pick up your coffee. I'll, I'll I'll wash all the beans individually. They'll be as good as new. Please give me a sock." <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't want to be free. He loves doing this. <laughs> just like waiting. logan at the movie theater when he's picking up uh rappers under under the chairs right yeah give, give me more why are there so few <laughs> really rappers i'm pretty sure that's something logan knows nothing about <laughs> oh what are you mac miller come on <laughs> no, oh, name the, what named a white named a white guy that what was a surprise purpose. all yeah, right eminem eminem all right so <laughs> so she comes in and they talk and then she leaves and it's lit up red and um, no, I, I so I don't think that they had sex. I think she's like, damn, I missed missed my chance. That's sad. Um, but I guess they will in one of her ninety episodes coming up. And then the credits, they dance, very cute. Is it was that just footage from the beginning that they played again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they cut it I, to the music. Right. No, there was some there was some bonus footage there, but it was pretty similar. Um, I I, uh, I thought I'd give it a one. I'm not gonna do that, but I'll give it a two. Hey, I I also noticed in the credits, you guys didn't mention. You said there was an all star crew this time. Did you notice who the makeup supervisor was? No, who? Dwayne Johnson. Wow, <laughs> all right. I, I rewound. I was like, oh my god, he! I didn't know that guy's talented. Yeah. My thing with this episode is just like we haven't ha- really had a portal to another dimension yet on Buffy or Angel. And it's a really big thing to be adding into the mythos. And it's too big a thing to be adding to the mythos in an episode this small and stupid. Yeah, it stressed me out, honestly. I agree with that. Like, they brought in a portal and I was like, what? So now what? Now I have to watch Buffy thinking about how uh, there are there are other portals. And now I'm thinking about like if, if there are solutions to other episodes, like you can go through portals. And now I'm thinking right. about our other oh. villains from other dimensions. And like it's, it stressed me out too much to even think about it. That's a good point. Yeah. What are you talking about, Logan? It's like your favorite uh, in Endgame. A portal uh, opens and Sean Gunn flies out. Uh, with all like on your left, right at the end of uh, yeah, Endgame. A portal in Endgame was fine. A portal in Angel, I wasn't he- really here for. Um, but yeah, that's a good point. And they treated her so importantly, and I was like, oh no, like, really? Yeah, uh, that scared me. Uh, but I'm still scared. They for- totally set it up for her to come back. Right? Oh, like- big time. I, I, I also th- the other thing about Bai Ling, and it, it's connected to her many nip slips. Is that she was a mess? She was like a drunk and an ad- and drugs and like she was a crazy person. And so like they might have set her up to come back, but like she was a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah, 
they yeah, have, they, they have bad luck with that on this show, I guess. They told her to go hang out with the actor who played Doyle. <laughs> Why don't you go hang Aww. out with him? I mean, Glenn Quinn. <laughs> yeah. By Ling and Glenn, Glenn Quinn. That's a good good duo there. Uh, the, all right. It, I'll go two stars, too. Uh, Tim, you agree? Or you two. Agree? Two. By Ling, LVP. Yeah. Angel MVP. No, maybe M- Wesley. MVP Wesley. Wesley, yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna just pop this last place on the list Me there. Too. Yeah. <laughs> and all right, the Patreon. Hey, right? I don't think I did. I ever place the Buffy episode? Did you not? No, you didn't. I Definitely think. did not because I yeah. didn't hear Logan read the list of names of yeah. The, the no, no, no every episode. Where, where do you want to go start? back and do that? Yeah, I had it between the prom and the initiative. Do you want to start with one of those? I like it. I like the initiative more. So read down from that. All right. So the initiative you had at 22. So from the initiative down, we have Wild at Heart, Surprise, Tad, I Only Have Eyes for You, The Harsh Light of Day, The Freshman Slower, living slower, slower. Freshman Bad Living Conditions. Go ahead. Slower. Bad Girls. Consequences. Revelation. All right. Faith, Hope, and Trick. Choices. All right now it's not funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, funny. yeah, yeah. Okay, that I, I didn't funny realize we'd keep going while. so long. To be honest, yeah, I think you're gonna stop me any second. Uh, Homecoming no. and the pack. What's my line two? What's my line one? You're going too fast again. Wait, there has to be a middle ground. He's gonna. There has to be a middle ground. You know what'd be good go if, you, if you kept up with this. You kept <laughs> up with your side. I'll keep up with my side. That'll be good. What's my line one? Out of mind, out of sight. Amends. A new Wait. man. Something blue. Phases. Welcome keep to the going. Hellmouth. It's really. This All right, you can crazy. put it. You can put it right before Welcome to the Hellmouth. Oh my god! Between <laughs> phases, that's that's the one we find out he's a fucking werewolf. That's yeah. That's better than this. It's a good episode. All right, I have this written as no I in team. By the way, I completely fucked up. I there is about... the I in team. Yeah, I, I always think there's no I in team. Mm-hmm. What, what did that mean, by Logan. the way? The I in team. Well, usually there's no I in team. Because the team's all working together, but in this case, Buffy was the I in team. It's about herself, right? Like, she's choosing herself over the team. Or maybe and Riley. Also, Riley chose himself uh, at the end. Also, the initiative starts with I. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, great job. There are and what, four eyes in Sp- initiative? How many eyes are in initiative? There are fucking al- a lot. Also, Spike has eyes. E-Y-E. So, <laughs> that, was, that was a clue. All right. Next week on Buffy and Angel- Buffy's Angels. Right? No, we're we're gonna oh yeah, but for I was gonna read Josh Merlis's comments. Oh, okay, you can do that first. All right, Josh Merlis says Buffy. Spike knocked the commando on his butt. Does that mean he was a demon? That's interesting. Who did he knock on his butt? I mean he just knocked a guy on his butt. It's barely violence. I mean, maybe he got like a slight headache after that. Did he mean to? Or maybe he just ran into him by accident. Like was it intent? I think like I don't Spike has to also. intent to hurt maybe he was just trying to escape no, I don't but know. yeah maybe maybe they're all part demons who knows yeah that monster fighting love making montage did not work for me the music was off good app overall though interesting hmm. all right okay josh merlis again says angel two minutes in and i already have my mvp mini rubens so he loves rubens he probably loves the kraut more than you do daniel he says, that was some totally reckless, distracted driving. I agree. I thought Angel would do better. Now I see what Dan doesn't like about this one. Oh, yeah, you hate driving. That's probably what you hated about this one. Uh, <laughs> seriously, though, that was trash. <laughs> wow, he's really mad about that. Uh, I can hardly understand the interdimensional princess and her prosthetics looked like poop. <laughs> Anyone <laughs> else get? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, yeah. Uh, anyone else get major glass onion vibes from that chakra guy? I don't know what that means. The Sean Gunn character? Who's the chakra guy? Who's the glass onion vibe? Yeah. Like, is there like is there like a super spiritual person? No, Ed Norton's just like he's a dumb techno speaker. I know. What what else is there? uh, Oh, maybe the uh, hippie, the one, the girl from uh, from Almost Famous. Was she like that? Is he referring to the Beatles song from the White Album? (laughs) Oh, possibly. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Almost famous. No, Logan, like 
Logan, I'm I'm just gonna say, Josh, you got three of us here. None of us know what the fuck you're talking about. So <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna say no on this one. Okay. Yeah. I'm, sorry. I'm very confused. Loved the opening party scene, though. Yeah, that's how we felt. Uh, Josh Merlis again says, "By the way, SpongePod Squarecast is just too good to pass up." God damn it. Thanks. Josh. Yeah. Yeah, I had to text uh, after hearing that and clarify some stuff for Dan too about SpongeBob. So I, I love I, all of it was nonsense to me. I love <laughs> Dan. Let's just watch the I first explained episode. Explain something that I explained something to Dan, and Dan just texts back the word "hmm." <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that? Watch the first episode. Uh, by the well, way, I think I, they're I like mean, I think they're like fifteen minute segments, so it's like two different segments. We can no, watch the first segment. Just... Just cover the friend film franchise to get Dan in. It's not like it's gonna canonically. No, we'll have too many questions and it'll be too annoying. Let's watch the show first and then do the movies. Too many questions. What are you talking about? They like. Why is he under the sea? Why is he a sponge? Why is his name? Why is he a cartoon? Square pants. Why does he have legs at all? Why are his shoes brown? Why does he have colorful socks? Yeah. What is a Krabby Patty made of? What is the secret recipe? Why is Plankton so evil? Why is he married? Okay, so I'm. So taking Karen. So taking details about movies and questioning and querying them for comedy purposes, that's not what this show is. Nope. Yeah, no, it's this is for serious film analysis. Yes, okay. and and also, just to be clear, making fun of Dan is not allowed on the podcast. The only jokes <laughs> about other things are... What? <laughs> when have I ever had a problem with that? Right oh. now? Yeah. No, well, that's fine. Okay. Um... <laughs> What, thanks, uh, Josh. Thanks, thanks guys. Josh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's next week? Oh, wait. Is that all we got? Yeah, we got some from guys. Josh. Read Buffy notes. Why we gotta rely on? I Josh think we lost Angelica them. recently. What she we was did. One, she was one that commented a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Logan. Next yeah. week on the show, we've got um. Buffy is called Goodbye Iowa. What? Well, that's interesting. I, well, it's about Riley, but is he deciding? Never to go back home again, but then, but then why? Because because now I feel like he's the least secure he's ever been. He doesn't have his uh initiative. He's on, he's on his own. So why would he decide not to go back home? It seemed like home would be a safe place for him, comfort, you know. Um, goodbye. I, maybe there's a person named Iowa that we meet next week. Say goodbye to them. Um, it's the Bailin character. She shows up on Buffy. <laughs> she's changed her name to Iowa. Uh, yeah. Uh, but she's only in the one episode. I yeah. hope. Riley no. takes a shower and jacks off. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I'm, he 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 calls his brother and his he, his brother's name's Iowa. And at the end of the phone, he's like, All right, bye, bye, Iowa. Mm. He says goodbye, Iowa. All right, and Angel next week is called I've Got You Under My Skin. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to guess that he gets a tattoo of the letters Y-O-U. And he's like, I got you under my skin. Look right here. It's crazy. A little bit. Or, or he's got yeah, he's got the guy so from stupid. you. The face. Remember the, the episode face. of the X-Files where Scully had an evil tattoo? Yep. That was great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, what's that guy's name from you? He's got that guy. Joe? Penn Badgley. Joe. Yeah, he's got Joe on him, on his back like Steve-O. <laughs> oh, I've got you under my skin. That's so stupid. All right. Uh, let's That's the wrap point up. of my predictions. They're supposed to be stupid. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. With Nailed that. it. Hey, I'm watching here. Uh, come on back next week for uh, two uh, yeah. good episodes of the shows. Two. Tune in to Hey, I'm Watching Here to hear Dan talk about you're so not invited to my bar mitzvah. 